Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. I nailed it this week. <laughs> <laughs> so on this week's episode, we have a little bit of everything going on. Uh, we have Willoway Renee being bred to Welsh Titan Prince. Uh, we have Willoway Rizzo being bred to Titan. And we also have, we had the unfortunate uh, circumstance of a navel infection for our new filly, but she is on the mend now. She she was very affectionate um, off the start and we were her best friend. And now that we're giving her uh, two needles twice a day, she, uh, she doesn't want to be our friend right now. <laughs> also got unique um, being bred back to Seamus on her 10 day heat. Yeah, that was, uh, it was painless. Usually when you try to breed a mare that is has a foal on the side, usually it's a little bit of a rodeo, but the filly was pretty calm. We just took Unique out and brought her. Matt hangs on to Unique while she's in the pasture field with Seamus. Seamus does his thing. She was gone, what, a matter of five minutes? Five minutes and then yeah. back in the stall. And... Yeah, the foal didn't really, she was a little worked up, but I hung out with her and talked to her with Tucker and uh, Unique wasn't worked out, out either. No. And we also have Legacy. Uh, we're breeding her to the Calico Nitro horse of Steve Gregg's. So um, it's nice and handy. We're just down the road from Steve. So, you know, by the time it takes longer to get her halter on and loaded up than it does to get to Steve's place. So all right, so we hope you guys enjoy this episode. Well, this is the third and hopefully the final uh, breeding for Legacy this week. Um, she's a daughter of uh, Welsh's Titan Prince and and her dam was uh, Priest uh, Valley Ruby Jubilee, which was a Maplewood Levi daughter. Or granddaughter, sorry. She was a Maplewood Levi granddaughter. Um, Anyways, we're crossing her to the Calico Nitro horse of Steve Greggs. And uh, this is her third time going to the stud and we're hoping for the last time. Right now she's in a dead heat. I just had to pretty much drag her out of the barn. She's showing really good. So uh, the first night we bred her, she wasn't, you could tell she just, stud wasn't 100% um, into her second breeding two days later she bred really well and then hopefully tonight i think uh, she should breed really well it seems like she's she's right on and and ready to go so fingers crossed we'll get her bred and get her back home and all that before it gets dark get her back on the lights Uncle Jim, how you're supposed to hammer a nail in? Show him. Yeah, see, this is how you're supposed to do it. Hit it! Oh! I can see the hole from here. Got him! Got him! Boys, where are we going? To the tractor store? What tractor store are we going to? The case? No, a green one. Which the green one? This right. No, but what's uh what tractor's green? John D. Cold minus twenty five this morning. Morning guys. We're just uh 
8.15 here in the morning and we're heading over to uh, my parents to, to breed Willoway Rene. We checked Legacy this morning and uh, she was off her heat. She had been on uh, what seems to be a long, a long heat, but not a super long heat. We checked in on Dolly and uh, Stella. Dolly's in a, her fourth breeding uh, was yesterday. So uh, hopefully she does the same thing as, as Legacy and she goes off today. Stella was checked yesterday too, but uh, was still uh, not showing to the stud. So they're gonna keep an eye on her for, uh, for coming into heat. Looks like it's gonna be a, a beautiful day, but it's gonna be cold by the looks of it or the feel of it anyways. It's showing minus 25 on the truck. to go to this morning. Touchy. I wish you got Gets her to out and socialize. Oh, I know. Can you kiss in its butt? <laughs> yeah. Look out, she's gonna get you. Watch, she don't kick you. Don't touch your tail. can get off early if that's the case uh, to take her to Titan. So, Willoway Rizzo just got her uh, her first breeding, but we waited as long as we could uh, to breed her this cycle. She is on day six of her cycle, so we thought uh, just to save a little bit of running around, we'd wait and breed her today. And she had a good heat. She's moving around a little bit once he once he got inside there, so that's a good sign that uh, she might be ovulating and. Uh, they get a little tender when they 
when they ovulate, so they don't quite stand as well. And as you see, we're in a, a mess. Everything's melting. Everything's turning to ice. We got a big storm. We're under a weather watch tonight. So try to get this done and back home before uh, before the 25 mils of rain sets in. So guys, this is Willoway Rizzo. Once again, hasn't been done since we pulled shoes off and in the fall and she needs to be done. I noticed the other day when we took her to get bread and that, she's starting to get too long of a toe. I'm not sure we talked about it in our last video, but Rizzo's Dam is a full sister to uh, the Kelso horse that David Anderson had and that Robert Detweiler used there on the mares and produced a lot of good, good quality. So we're excited to get Rizzo in foal this year and see what she can do for us. And, you know, her being at a Zoom, it, it makes Makes the cross pretty interesting too. I noticed the other day that I left a little bit more heel than I should have um, on this mare and, and Dolly. They both move extremely tight behind. So they had a ton of heel, inside heel when we were driving them because you just don't, you don't want them clipping when you're driving them. It's one of those things if they if they start clipping they'll keep clipping it seems like and you just can't get them yield up right and so i would advise to avoid the clipping right from the get-go start them out with a small shoe when you're when you're first hitching them and they're figuring things out and you don't need a big shoe when you're first starting out. So. Start them small, let them get it their, their strength and their hind end. And once they get that, they gain so much more control. And then you start playing with them. We're not doing something, anything too crazy with these guys this winter. It's nice to let the horse be a horse too through the winter. When all summer they've worked and worked out and traveled and but I'll tell you one thing these horses love to do it they I can tell they miss it they like getting out there and doing it showing you they can do it some like it more than others obviously Dolly's one of those mares she just will always give you everything she's got and she's proud to do it. Last year we used her, uh, she's such a dark color and didn't really meet up with either of the other lead mares. So it wasn't for a lack of movement. She just, she just didn't match up. So we ended up, uh, she was kind of our ace in the hole for, uh, for the unicorn class or cart class. And she did, uh, she did really well. Like I said, Jeff, Jeff Robbins makes this. If anybody's ever seen Jeff Robbins shoot a horse, trim a horse, he makes it look a hell of a lot easier than I can. But sometimes they just need a trim. And it's handy to know how to do it, even if it's not perfect. Who knows? Maybe we can even uh, coach Jeff in to. Maybe doing an episode or something. If anybody would like to see that, leave a comment. And uh, we'll see if we can get Jeff in. He's a ton of experience. Really good at it. Does a really nice job. 
and he's entertaining. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're spunky. He makes just dumping feet all over her baby. She's, she was born, what, a week? She's a week and a half, I guess. So she's just starting to kind of figure out what feed is. I caught her trying to munch on some hay uh, earlier today. We are actually, just yesterday, we started treating her for a navel infection. Uh, it wasn't coming off and it looked like it could be a little oozy, but it just came off now. You don't want to fool around with a navel infection uh, just because it can lead to joint ill. Um, so yeah, we have treated her and we'll treat her until the bottle is empty. But now that the, the crusty part has fallen off, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can see your little umbilical cord. Let's see. This really seemed to want to focus, but. Hi. As I was trying to get the video of her navel, she actually bit me in the forehead. Uh, thank goodness she doesn't have teeth yet, uh, or that would have really hurt. She, she got me good. Well, guys, that's it for this week's episode. We're finishing this week off with Willow A. Rene being, uh, she finished up her heat, and uh, we're continuing to check Willow A. Rizzo. We bred her at her six day into her heat, so we're hoping that uh, that'll cover her and we won't have to worry about taking her back. And uh, hopefully we hear some more news on uh, Lukuli Doyle Stella and Reese Welsh Dolly Parton. They are still in Quebec. We've decided to leave them just a little longer, like until they're, they can be checked by a vet, just to save that uh, 10 hour trek, or I guess 20 hour yeah, we trek for you. We do know that uh, Stella, they checked Stella um, ultrasounder and she did ovulate. We're hoping that it was just one egg. They couldn't tell for sure if it was. And uh, yeah, uh, Dolly went off her heat just like she was supposed to and, and bred good and everything like that. So fingers crossed that we got a couple in full the Cedar Lane Royal. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. And if you have any ideas or anything you want to see, please tell us in the comments. And of course, like and subscribe. Um, and uh, if you're Canadian that celebrates, uh, or one of the provinces that celebrates Family Day, we hope you have a great long weekend.